Everton. Um, yeah, so Dan and Cass this year, um, they've been sell they they've sold both of our buildings, the main building, central house, and then the other part of the of the cast, which is Commercial Road. And it's so sad that they're closing these courses because they're courses that so the musical instrument making was the only BSc left in in the UK of its kind. Like they're shutting these courses at London Met that students could be could be getting a great education out of and as we speak there's actually a listing on the internet where they're selling the equipment and the machinery that was in commercial road all the machinery that for years and years students have been learning on it's absolutely disgusting i was devastated when i saw that this is such a waste of resources and it's john raffertree the vice chancellor scraping around for every bit of money that he can find to pull off this one campus thing that's just a blatant shot at getting his name in the history books. A paying student, to my face, the Vice Chancellor slagged off the cast staff. He slagged off, they called Mark out of control. This was in December when we just come out of occupation. They called Mark out of control. They slagged off members of staff by name to my face in a meeting with my SU rep. And John Raftery has done a very good job of telling the SU this year that I'm dangerous. And he's told them, he told the CAS SU rep to tell me to shut my mouth. And I won't do that because, like the rest of you, I can't put my head on the pillow at night and say I haven't done anything. I can't believe how blatant this sacking of David and Mark is. I can't believe that this happens, which sounds really stupid, but bear with me because this is the first time I've been in this situation. But I can't believe how blatant it is, and actually the staff can't believe how blatant it is. I can tell you at the cast, people are absolutely livid. So, and my last point was that I heard um, a CAS staff member, actually I'm a photography student and uh, one of the photography tutors said that the shame about CAS is that we were in that little place being encroached upon by all these skyscrapers and this selling of property and he said that it was a great place to, as an art school, to hold a mirror up to the ugliness of the world and the city and of capitalism and actually in a way that's what London Met as a whole is because as we see on the news now we've Brexit has legitimised racism and London Met is an international institution. We're now getting Theresa May as the Prime Minister. She's already tried to get rid of 2,000 London Met students in the past which by the way Mark and David <laughs> staged a walkout with students and staff and they stopped that. So a round of applause for that because that was amazing. On a personal note, my final note is that I've struggled in education all my life, coming from a working class background. My dad died when I was nine and my mum had to struggle to get us through. And we're still struggling now, you know? It's expensive going to university. Um, and I don't get any help with equipment bursaries because you need a C in maths at an art school to get an equipment bursary. Um, which is something else that I've tried to take management on about because it's something that really affects cash students. But we struggle all the time and it's because of people like, it's because of staff members like Christina at the cast and David and Mark and Richard and all these staff members that give us guys the confidence. The big difference between these guys in the offices and these guys is that when I talk to management, I get the feeling that they're important and they can make decisions about my future. When I talk to staff like Christina and Mark and David and everybody else, I get the feeling that I'm important and I get to make the decisions about my education. So that's why the staff are so important. That mirror that you hold up to the otherness of the world that is London Met as well is holding a mirror up, especially right opposite, ironically, student flats that are ridiculously expensive, the class divide. And I think that is why 
when the Met needs to be defended and why these guys need to be defended. So we need to keep that we need to keep that mirror in the next two years and probably in the future nice and shiny and clear so people can look at themselves.